Hey guys, Tennessee Yankee. Hey, look at that cool sky. I'm sure the video won't do it justice, but I just got back from picking up a landscape rake. I'm really excited. It's the first real three-point attachment that I've got so far, uh, other than the homemade stuff I've made, like weights and things like that. But I got a uh, rock rake and really excited to pull it out of the truck, put it on, and start using it. The first thing I'm going to try to do is practice here on my driveway because ever since I've had it put in if you look back at my driveway project I haven't had my box blade yet or anything else to uh, level it out with I'm going to turn the camera around here you'll be able to see what I'm what a mess I already got there's Mr. Frank so here's the outskirts of my drive area where the rock was dumped I got some washout and then my driveway kind of really starts up here um, but even if you watch the video of when it got put in um, since then I've had a bunch of fill brought in probably about 10 truckloads uh, of fill for the back and it held up pretty good for those big you know 20 some ton trucks but it did settle in a little bit so and we got some grass growing in here so I'm excited to uh, get the rake out and start trying it out on this all right guys here it is i got the uh 60 inch rake this is a tartar brand i got it from a implement dealer about 90 minutes away from my house um this is actually a lr205 but uh like i said 60 inch five footer and this has uh one inch spacing between the tines so I know one of the other ones they had was like an inch and a quarter. So I think I'll be better off with an inch. Um, so we'll get this taken out of the truck, get it put on and try it out. Okay, I'm gonna run around back and I'll get rid of my cement ballast and then we'll come hook it up. First time putting this guy on, we gotta put the washers on here for the hats. The jury's still out for me on the hats. I haven't decided if I, that's a great deal for me or not. Especially something like this, you can't really get behind it easy.
uh, maxed out here with the extra packs that I got on there. It just makes it. I may have some adjustment here once I get it. So here it is. Looks pretty level at the moment. I like how it's got the uh, adjustments here for the angling, and then you can turn it all the way around. So push or pull. All right, guys, that's all the way raised up on my 2610. Looks like that's fine. Obviously don't need to go much higher than that, but like I said, I'm about maxed out on my top link with the extension of the pats on there, but it still works. All right, let's give it the first whirl together. See how it works. I'm just gonna start right here. I got some very uneven ground that I showed you in the beginning of the video. There's some rain troughs through there and some finer stone. So I'm gonna try to pull that over closer to my driveway. Let's see how that does. When you get into the thicker stuff here, it really, uh, really digs in. So here was just my first pass on the hard ground. But yeah, pulled, pulled a decent amount of rocks forward. Like I said, there was a lot of small stuff in here.
right guys, just a few passes here. I think it's working it up pretty good. This needs a lot of work down here and I need some nicer fill, but pretty happy with it so far. So let's go back and I'm gonna try that before I even start the driveway. I wanna get a little more practice. I'm gonna go back and into some of that wetter stuff. Try moving some of those big rocks and roots out of there. Let's see how that goes. You know what? I can't stand it. I've been waiting to try to level a little bit of this since April. So while I'm on my way back, I'm going to take a swath here on the outer edge and let's see what it does. You saw I lifted it up there a little bit. I got some fabric down here and a few spots I want to be careful of right now. I don't think there's any. Yeah. See this, when I put this, I put fabric in in a few spots because it was so wet. Just a few different sections, but it's not deep enough. I'll, I'll probably end up just going to have to tear it up. It's going to be hard for me to get enough material over that, but man, look at this. That's just awesome. gonna go ahead and go over here and start taking a few swaths on this I bet you we're just gonna completely fill up with with debris here
All right, guys, let's take a look. It's definitely a little bit too sloppy down here right now, but uh, I wanted to give it a try in the mud. Look at this. See how uh, see how it was doing. So it's getting a little soft over here by the edge of my new fill. So don't want to mess around with it too much. But man, just the the leveling that this thing has done in these three passes is pretty pretty remarkable. So you know I got a lot of this big big rock chunks in here so it's helping to pull those over here we can go over and take a look at the debris we have look at our beautiful Tennessee rain cloud skies we went weeks and weeks without rain and now we've been getting it like crazy so here's a few of my debris piles obviously mixed with mud but really does a nice job of pulling out the bigger roots and stuff one last look at this before i finish up here so cleans out pretty good obviously we got some muddy roots here but yeah overall pretty happy with it this will be a nice thing to have until my box blade comes but again i think this rake is is one of those things that's a great attachment to have in addition to the box blade because a lot of times you're not going to want to go too deep and this is just the ticket for that and can't wait to continue to work on this driveway and make it a little nicer hey guys tennessee yankee thanks for watching if you found this content helpful go ahead and hit that subscribe button on your right i have other content linked for you on the left side otherwise we'll see you next time Thanks again for watching.